What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Coding with Robbie. As always, I'm your host, Robbie, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at theme blocks. This is a brand new feature announced by Shopify at Winter Editions 24, and it basically allows you to decouple your blocks from your theme section so they can be used all over the place. So it's going to unlock a ton of possibilities. I'm going to show you how to use them, and if that sounds good, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll get right into it. Let's go. All right, so before we get started, I wanted to talk about the problem this fixes a little bit more. So I got my product page pulled up right here, and I got my product information section added. And as you know, sections can have blocks. So we have a text blocks, title, price, variant picker, etc. And I can add new ones, and there's a bunch to choose from. But the problem is that all of these are specific to this section, and they're all hard-coded within the section file. So say I did want to bring this title over somewhere else, I would literally have to go in, copy all the code, and bring it to the other section. You have a ton of duplicate code. So that's kind of the point of these things. And uh, if we go to the additions page right here, you can see it's going to eliminate redundant work. And this is pretty cool. You can nest these theme blocks within each other up to eight levels deep. So there is a downside. This is only available in developer preview. So you're not going to be able to use it on any real stores yet. But if you do want to play around with it, you just need a development store. And to get one of those, you need a partner account. So you can sign up at shopify.com partners. Just click join now, fill it out. And uh, once you sign up, you'll have a dashboard like this. And to create a development store, you just go to stores, add store, create development store. You're going to want to test and build. You can give it a name. And then down here, you're going to want to select developer preview and say that you want to use theme blocks. And then I recommend starting with test data also. And then just click create development store and it's going to build a store where you can use this on. All right, we are now ready to add our first theme block. So I got my store pulled up right here. I'm using Dawn and I got the documentation for theme blocks pulled up over here. So if we scroll down in the docs down here, you can see that our theme is now going to have a new blocks folder and this is going to house all our theme blocks. And then if we scroll down a little bit further, they give us some example code for a block. So let's copy this code. And then let's go to our theme. We'll go to edit code. We're going to find that new blocks folder. It's right here. I'll open it up. I'll go add new block. I'll call it test. I'll hit done. It's going to create the file and I'll replace all the contents with that code we copied. So up top here, you can see we have a paragraph tag and we're rendering the text setting within there. So to access your block settings, it's going to be block.settings.id. And then at the bottom here, we have a schema. And our schema names the theme block, so let's call ours test. And then it's going to have a settings array. And we just have one setting uh, of type text and ID text. And for the label, I'm going to change it to text. And I'm actually going to add some default content here. So let's go default. And for default, we'll just put some text. And then we're also going to have to add presets to this so we can render it within customized theme. So let's go down here. We'll add presets. It's going to be an array that has an object with name and we'll name it test also hit save and we just create our first theme block. So now we want to render this in our theme, but we don't have any sections that support it yet. So it's very simple to add support to your sections. So if we go back to the docs and we scroll down a little bit, it says, Hey, add support to theme blocks and sections. And basically you just add this blocks um, type at theme to your section and it'll support it. And then to render the block, you use this tag up here. So let's copy all of this and we'll create a whole new section. So let's go sections, add new section. It's going to be of type liquid. I'll call it group. And then let's replace all the contents with that code we copied. And then in schema, I'm going to change the name from section to group. And then down here it says, hey, we support blocks and we support the at theme block type. And then up top here, this tag is what's going to render the block. So we can just leave that as is. Hit save. And uh, actually, we forgot to add presets. So let's go down here. Presets. It's going to be an array with an object that has a name of group. There we go. Save one more time. And now we're ready to render this in our theme. So let's exit the code editor. We'll go to customize theme. And now we're going to add that group section we just created. So let's go to add section. And here's a bug Shopify. If you search for it, it's not going to find it. But if you look in the list and you scroll down, you can see it right here. So let's add that. 
And then within here, we can add blocks and we're gonna have our theme blocks to select from. So let's add that test block we created. And then it's gonna have some text by default and we can see it rendering down here. And we can hit save and we just rendered our first theme block on our page. So another great feature with these things is that you can nest them within each other. So let's add support for that. So back in the documentation, we can scroll down a little bit and it says, hey, you wanna do nesting? Here's how you do it. So we basically copy that blocks line in the theme block also. So let's do that. Let's go back. We will go to edit code. We'll go to test.liquid, which is our theme block. And then in the schema, we're gonna add blocks and say, hey, this block also supports nesting of blocks and we want app blocks and theme blocks. So save that, go back to the docs, and then to render it, you just use this content for tag. So let's copy that. And then let's go back and maybe we'll wrap this P tag in a div. So let's go div. And then inside of the div, we'll paste in that tag we copied, content for blocks. And then let's move this text right above it. Let's hit save and now this theme block should support nesting of other theme blocks and app blocks. So let's try that out. So let's go back to customize theme now. And then you can see our theme block right here and now we can add blocks within it. So let's add another one. Now we got nested text and we should be able to add it up to eight levels deep. It's buggy right now. So it's not working how it should be. But let's just save, exit out, go to customize again. And now we can do it, so let's add some more. And it's only letting me do one at a time, so you gotta fix this Shopify, it's not working right. So go back, customize again. We can add another one. So it is rendering them all. So let's just do four for now, but you can do up to seven, and then I guess they count the group as the eighth one. So one other thing to talk about is that you can't mix local blocks and theme blocks together. So you're not going to be able to add support to your existing sections very easily. So let me show you what I mean by that. Say we went to edit code and we just opened up a random section. So let's go to this multi-column one. When I was playing around with it, I was thinking, hey, I can just add support to this real quick. I could go to blocks and uh, add my type of at theme. And I, hey, I should be able to uh, render theme blocks within this section now. But it goes, hey, you can't use um, local blocks and theme blocks together. So local block is the one that's kind of hard coded in the section and specific to that section. So to add support for theme blocks in here, I would have to move this block out to a global block. So that's one thing to note. And uh, one other thing to note is that the schema does have a couple other fields you can add. So if we went to block schema, you can add a tag, which just changes the tag that wraps the section. So by default, it'll be a div. You could change it to header or a side or whatever you wanted. And you can add a class to that parent div that wraps the section. And that's pretty much it. So that's theme blocks. Hopefully they release this pretty soon. Uh, Shopify, you got some bugs to fix. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.